Hey guys, I'm doing quick videos, banging them out, just talking a little bit, touching, touching these subjects. Keto and CrossFit, keto and weightlifting, keto and fitness competitions. Let's go right there. Can you use keto for all those types of physical and sport athletic modalities? Yes. Let's take the fitness competitions, right? People ask me all the time, are you going to compete? Are you going to compete? I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm not dry enough, yo. I got too much fat in my skin. It's all supple and nice and soft. But as you can see, I'm a woman at a low body fat percentage. I haven't tested myself, so don't ask. I have not tested in a while, but I'm 50. And um, if I wanted to use ketogenesis, being fully adapted, doing this stuff for almost 10 years, I could very easily. This is me just every day eating like 240 fat, 240 grams of fat per day. So if I up my workouts in a smart way and I drop my fat, boom, I will get shredded. Shredded. So you can use ketogenesis for fitness competitions, but you must adapt first. And that's the thing. All these people start asking me about fitness, fitness competitions. And out of all these people talking on the internet, this is the one who's super fit, who is a woman at 50. So I think I got a little bit of clout when talking about fitness competitions. Plus I'm an athlete. I used to be a pro skateboarder. I've been doing physical things my entire life. So I understand the athletic mind. So yes, you can use this for fitness and bodybuilding competitions, but you must adapt first. So you must try to do this when you're not even close to your fitness competition date. Six months out, a year out, really, that's the best. And then you have to train your body to keto adapt because you have to ramp down your workouts. You have to get rid of the caffeine that y'all are addicted to caffeine. You have to learn how to protect those adrenal glands and um, breathe and get into circadian sleep cycles and Fix your darn liver, kidneys from all the protein powders and supplements and this and processed crap and, and liver kidney function needs to be great uh, modality um, and your uh, gut needs to function properly and once on the thyroid must be okay and men your testosterone needs to pop up and women you need to lower your estrogen dominance by you know doing like breathing and meditating all this kind of hippie dippy stuff but with that said with all of those practices and getting your macros on point and using a glucometer and journaling and getting into a parasympathetic state, yes, you can use keto for bodybuilding or fitness competitions to get lame. CrossFit, power, right? Watts, repetition, 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 repetition. Yes, because when you are fully adapted, but you can't do CrossFit in the process of adapting, you won't adapt. High blood pressure, uh, uh, your blood pressure goes up, your adrenals are overfiring, and sugar's just me being made like this, gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis, while you're doing wads, no. Ramp down, change your workouts for like two months, be really smart about your keto adaptation, and then when you are fully adapted, because that's a whole nother video, when, when are you fully adapted, then you can do all of these repeti rep sorry, repetitive movements over and over again for 12 minutes, right? Yes, it is possible. So my friend's a CrossFitter and he's like, oh, let's do a, I think, I don't know, a, we did a 12 and a 14 minute and I was just boom, 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 boom. I was like, he's like, damn, you got, and when we were done, he was tired and I was like, what, you tired? Let's keep working out, another three hours. Ketones, people, ketones, fabulous. And um, I got my breathing and my blood pressure down and my heart rate down and put myself in a parasympathetic state to protect my adrenals so if I do it again in the future then I'm not exhausting and exasper exacerbating my adrenal glands now power lifters Oof, that's a great one because you are so strong on keto so strong so strong um, it's not like um, playing um, it's not like sprinting right where you need that quick energy and you gotta run past someone so maybe in that aspect with, uh, um, I don't know, I've done handstands across the room and beat people doing that for CrossFit, but uh, it is possible. I don't know how it is to compete on CrossFit. It might be more difficult if somebody's just downed a bunch of sugar, but power lifters all day, every day. Yes, power lifting great with keto. I've worked with a few, not a lot, a few power lifters and strength up the wazoo. 
super strong, super amazing sliding filaments. Yes, strength, power. Um, basically, again, you have to ramp down the weight and the level and all of this so you don't hit a wall, right? Once your glycogen is depleted and you're lifting heavy, your body is going to take these ketones, this body fat, convert it into the liver, get into the Krebs cycle. So when you're lifting heavy weight, powerful heavy weight, and a power lifting move, you have the strength. The muscle fibers are activating on ATP coming from ketones. Very fascinating. But you always use glucose. Don't get it twisted. You're always going to use a little bit of glucose, but you want the dominant energy to come from ketones. All right, guys, if you want to learn more, as I work more with athletes, it's starting to happen now because more of you guys are getting into it. I will get more into working with athletes to create more chunkier data, right? Because I've been working with almost 3,000 people. A lot of people have are like more like average, some athletes, some marathon runners, but I need more. I need more so I can sit and and uh, track and journal and learn more about how it is for the athlete, someone like me, who's an athlete, to do a ketogenic protocol for the long term with results. All right, guys, if you want to learn more, you can go to stephanieperson.com. I made it six minutes with 105 degrees outside and no air conditioning on. Not that much sweat. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, guys, stephanieperson.com. As you guys know, I'm writing the Ultimate Keto book. I need more data with athletes, so I would love to coach more athletes to get that section more chunked up. And uh, if you need to start keto, what you need to do, how to understand your blood sugar, how to understand um, your macros and when to up and down the fat and all this with the thyroid and the adrenals and your your reproductive hormones and what types of fats for what reason and the circadian and this and the blah, 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 blah. And you know, infection, inflammation, sleep hygiene, supplementation. Um, I'll be writing that book. Well, I am writing it right now. The Ultimate Keto Book. And uh, this is coming from somebody who practices what they preach. I've only done 20 net carbs in almost 10 years. This is the business with somebody who's had 10 knee surgery, knee surgeries on her left knee from being a pro skateboarder. Uh, so I'm running the gamut with being middle-aged and 50 and athlete and this and that, blah, 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 blah and doing a lot of research with a lot of different subjects. Go to stephanieperson.com to learn more, or you can go to Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram, -y, Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page, and I need to get out and turn on this air because it is hot. <sighs> you hear how loud that thing is? <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Okay, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Peace.